Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering numbering system concept in C programming. Guys, I have uploaded complete C language subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Numbering system is classified into four types. First one is binary number system. Second one is octal number system. Third one is decimal number system. And fourth one is hexadecimal number system. At first, I will explain what is binary number system. By mean two, binary mean digits. Binary number system contains two two digits they are 0 and 1 example 0 1 1 0 1 base 2 is an example of binary number system we can also call this binary number system as base 2 number system this binary number system contains only two digits they are 0 and 1 i will give one more example 0 1 1 1 0 base 2 it is also an example of binary number system 111 base 2 we also call this binary number system as base 2 number system next one is octal number system octal mean 8 so octal number system contains total 8 digits from 0 to 7 we also call this octal number system as base 8 number system this is an example of octal number system octal number system contains numbers from 0 to 7 so it contains number from 0 to 7 that is 735 these numbers are in between 0 to 7 so we call it as octal number system here you need to write base 8 i'll give one more example 3 5 6 7 base 8 numbers are in between 0 and 7 so we call it as octal number system next i will explain decimal number system meaning of decimal is 10 so it contains 10 digits from 0 to 9 we also call this decimal number system as base 10 number system. This is an example of decimal number system contains numbers from 0 to 9 and we represent decimal number system with base 10. I will give one more example of base 10 number system like 99i2 base 10 It should contains numbers from 0 to 9. Next I will explain what is hexadecimal number system. Hexa mean 6 and decim mean 10. Total it contains 16 digits. So we also call this hexadecimal number system as base 16 number system. This hexadecimal number system contains numbers from 0 to 9 after that it contains alphabets like a b c d e f where a represent 10 b represent 11 c mean 12 d mean 13 e mean 14 and f mean 15 total it contains 16 digits from 0 to 15 where 0 to 9 are numbers and a b c d e f are alphabets this is an example of hexadecimal number system f a 319 base 16 where base 16 represent hexadecimal number system for example 1110 we call it as binary number system because it contains 0 and 1 so we call it as binary number system for example 3581 we call it as decimal number system because it contains numbers from 0 to 9 for example 1117 we call it as octal number system because numbers are in between 0 and 7 a10 we call it as hexadecimal number system because it contains alphabet a for example if they give 735 base 10 actually 735 actually these numbers are in between 0 and 7 so actually it is octal number system but in question if they give like 735 base 10 then you need to consider this as decimal number system because here they given base 10 though numbers are in between 0 and 7 if they give base 10 then you need to consider it as a base 10 number system for example 125 base 10 this is decimal number i want to convert this decimal number 125 into binary octal and hexadecimal i will explain this by using calci at first you need to click on mode here you can see options here you need to select base n so click on 4 here by default it will show decimal here you need to enter your number here number is 125 so i am entering here 125 plus is equal to here you can see number 125 now i want to convert this 125 into binary here you can see option binary bin so click on it so this is result this is how we convert decimal number into binary so answer is don't count zeros count from one one is from here now so right here one 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 zero one if i convert this decimal number into binary this is result if you want to convert this into octal just here you can see option octal here you can see octal just click on it so if you convert decimal number 125 into octal then you will get answer as 175 so if you convert this decimal number 125 into octal result is 175 if you want to convert this 125 into hexadecimal then just click here here you can see hexadecimal button just click on it answer is 7d this is how we convert decimal number into binary octal and hexadecimal for example i want to convert binary number into decimal octal and hexadecimal 
let binary number be 101101 i want to convert this number into decimal octal and hexadecimal so at first you need to click on mode here you can see option that is base n so click on 4 here by default it will show decimal but i want to convert binary number into decimal so here you need to select binary here you can see option binary click on it so now it will show binary enter binary number that is one zero triple one zero one and press is equal to here you can see number one zero one 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 zero one now i want to convert this binary number into decimal here you can see option decimal so click on it so answer is 93 so similarly i want to convert this binary number into octal so just click on octal here you can see option octal click on it so answer is 135 if you want to convert this binary number into hexadecimal here you can see hexadecimal button just click on it answer is 5d this is how we convert a binary number into decimal octal and hexadecimal for example i want to convert octal number 125 into binary decimal and hexadecimal so here at first you need to click on mode and here select option 4 that is base in here by default you will see decimal but i want to convert octal number so here select octal here you can see option octal click on it and enter number that is 125 and press is equal to so now you can see here octal number 125 just click on binary in order to convert this octal number into binary so just click on binary this is answer that is guys don't count zeros count from one that is one zero one zero one zero one and if you want to convert this octal number 125 into decimal then just click decimal button you can see here click on it so answer is 85 and if you want to convert this octal number into hexadecimal then just click on hexadecimal button you can see here click on it answer is 55 this is how we convert octal number into binary decimal and hexadecimal Next, I will explain how to convert hexadecimal value A into decimal, binary and octal. If I click on mode, select option 4 that is base n. Here by default, you will see decimal. Here you need to select hexadecimal because you want to convert hexadecimal number. So click on hexadecimal. Here you can see alphabets A, B, C, D, E, F where A mean 10, B mean 11, C mean 12, D mean 13, E mean 14 and F mean 15. Here you can see alphabets from a to f here i want to convert this hexadecimal number a here you can see a click on it and press is equal to so here you can see hexadecimal number a now i want to convert this hexadecimal number a into decimal so just click on decimal answer is 10 and if you want to convert this hexadecimal number into binary then just click on binary answer is 1010 and if you want to convert this into octal then just click on octal here you can see octal click on it answer is to well this is how we convert hexadecimal number into decimal binary and octal